Chicken picking is a super fun and extremely useful technique on the guitar, but it can be really difficult to get under your fingers. So today I'm gonna to show you two exercises that will help you refine your technique and get comfortable with it so you can use it all the time. Now, if you're brand new to chicken picking, also known as hybrid picking, I've linked to a video in the description that'll show you the basics. So be sure to check that out and then come back to this video. Now on to the two exercises. This first exercise is only gonna involve two strings. Your flat pick is gonna be activating the G string and your middle or ring finger is gonna be activating the high E string. Now you can choose either one here because ultimately you'll be using both. So whichever one needs the work is the one I want you to use. We're gonna start by just pinching those two strings together. Again, pick on the G string, middle or ring finger on the high E, like so. It's a nice steady pinch. Easy enough, not terribly musical, so let's actually make it musical. We're gonna start by playing a G major scale on the high E string, okay? So we're only gonna be fretting the high E string, that G string's gonna stay open. We're gonna start on the third fret of the high E, go ahead and pinch the two strings together. The fifth fret of the high E, the seventh, the eighth, the tenth, the twelfth, the fourteenth, and the fifteenth. Now you'll notice I use my index finger to fret all of those notes. You don't have to. In fact, there's no specific order or finger that I want you to use to fret those notes. Whichever one you have the most control over, whichever one feels comfortable for you, is exactly what I want you to use. So, in its entirety, that exercise will sound like this. Once you get comfortable with that, again, you can use your middle or your ring finger on that high E string. I want you to actually stagger it. So instead of pinching the strings at the same time, I want your pick to fire on the G and then pick up or pluck up with your middle or ring finger on that high E string. So instead of a quarter note, it turns into a set of eighth notes, one and. And you'll do that for the entire scale again. So it'll go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Once you get comfortable with that, the last step or tweak you can make to this exercise is to give it that extra country chicken picking snap. So instead of simply plucking that high E string, I want you to dig into it a little bit, almost pull it away from the guitar and let it slap back at the guitar. Now, I'm, <laughs> it sounds aggressive. I don't want you to be super aggressive. I don't want you to break any strings, but just that subtle difference in your picking technique will actually give it this tone that's really punctual. It punctuates the note and it sounds like it's really breaking through. So here's what that sounds like. Again, that's just a subtle tweak and something if you wanna pull a little extra chicken picking panache out of that exercise. Now on to the second exercise. The second exercise is gonna use your pick, your middle finger, and your ring finger. And what we're gonna be doing here is actually executing a banjo type roll where your pick fires, then your middle, then your ring. And it's gonna be musical, I promise, but I want you to get used to this roll pattern first because it's really gonna help train the independence of your middle finger and your ring finger aside from your pick. So let's start by actually fretting the fifth fret of the D string. Your pick is gonna be assigned to the D string, your middle finger, the G, and your ring finger, the B. And what I want you to do, just for starters, is, do, is fire your pick, your middle, and then your ring. Pick, middle, ring. Pick, middle, ring, pick, middle, ring, pick, middle, ring. That's not the full roll yet, I just want you to get used to the fingers on the strings. Now let's add a little bit of timing to it. So this is gonna be an eighth note roll, and I'm gonna count along with it, and there's a little hiccup at the end, so I want you to be aware of that. Same exact fretted position, same exact picking hand position. We're gonna go pick, middle, ring, pick, middle, ring, pick, ring. That's that hiccup I was talking about. Pick, middle, ring, pick, middle, ring, pick, ring. Okay, and if I count along with that, you'll see why there's that hiccup at the end. One, and two, and three, and four, and. 
we have to complete that full measure of eighth notes, hence that hiccup. So now let's go ahead and make this musical. We're gonna again execute a G major scale, but we're only gonna be fretting the G string. So we're gonna start at the fifth fret, go to the seventh, go to the ninth, 10th, 12th, 14th, 16th, and end up on the 17th. It's a little high up there, but it's kind of fun to get that high up on the guitar neck. So we're gonna execute a roll at each of those fretted locations, like so. So again, fifth fret, seventh fret, ninth, 10th, 12th, 14th, 16th, 17th. For extra fun, if you wanna descend that, you can do that as well from the 17th fret on down to the fifth and even a little bit past that. So you'd go to the fifth, fourth, second, open. So there you have it. Those are two exercises that will help you get comfortable with chicken picking, again, also known as hybrid picking, and give you some musical outlets for this new technique. And I think the more you do these exercises, the more you'll find this chicken picking technique actually unconsciously showing up in your playing, which is a huge win. Thanks for taking this lesson today. Just by showing up, you've become a better guitar player, and for that, you should pat yourself on the back. And I wanna know how it went. So in the comments below, please let me know. And if you have any other chicken picking or hybrid picking tips for your fellow guitar geeks, you can leave those there as well. If you enjoyed this lesson, I know you'd be a perfect fit for Tony's Acoustic Challenge. Tony's Acoustic Challenge is an acoustic guitar program like you've never seen before. To learn how it can take your playing to the next level, go ahead and click the link here in the video or in the description below, and don't hesitate to request your invite today. Thanks so much, and Guitar Geeks Unite.